Hello, and thank you for listening to my strategic plan for fraternity and sorority life for Penn State Altoona. This content is based on the plan that exists through the aspirations of the organizational and community ex of excellence. The content reflects the existing chapter and council expectations as well as the areas of new focus. It is believed that moving forward with this plan, this will help create recognition and the great achievements for the fraternity and sorority community at Penn State Altoona. The University of Penn State Altoona is a small private college noted to be a part of a major research university. It serves just under 4,000 undergraduate students with over 80 clubs and organizations that the Office of Student and Civic Engagement governs. Fraternity and Sorority Life is one of the largest organizations on campus, and over 30% of the Penn State Altoona students belong to a fraternity or sorority. Previous notions have reflected that fraternity and sorority life is in a negative light. The objective of this plan is to have the ability to showcase the efforts of fraternity and sorority life by outlining and proposing steps of implementation to gain support, utilize resources, guide structure within the fraternity and sorority life. Through this plan, a variety of new outlets and methods will improve the image and quality of fraternities and sororities at Penn State Altoona as a whole. Values are principles and beliefs that guide the actions of a person or group. The individuals of fraternities and sororities in the community have values that are instilled in them when they come to college for the first time. Members join an organization because there's a connection between the values, which are also instinctively involved in the college values as well. Fraternities and sororities values and experiences will help students to develop and strengthen existing values. Through this slide, um, what I did was I went through the hierarchy of how Greek life is performed and the different channels that you have to go through. So if we start from a broader term, it would be Penn State Altoona as a whole. Then you go down to the Chancellor and Dean. Then you go into Student Affairs, which then leads to the Office of Center or Center of Student and Civic Engagement, which then leads down to the sorority and fraternity life. I believe that looking through these channels, it helped not only me, but it will help others realize the channels that we have to go through and other departments or offices that we can include while using the strategic plan. Through this, I wanted to add in the missions of the student affairs and student, engage, student and civic engagement so that could be thought about when we're planning our strategic plan. So through this, the mission of Division of Student Affairs at Penn State Altoona is to provide students with the service and developmental opportunities that will challenge and support their academic experiences, enhance the quality of their lives, and prepare them to function successfully as servants leaders within a diverse multicultural and international world. As for the student civic engagement mission, Theirs is providing support and resources for student clubs and organizations, coordinating the college student community service efforts, and planning, entertaining, and educational events for the campus community. Now I'm going into the general overview of fraternity and sororities at Penn, Penn State Altoona, just because I wanted to give a, a fair share of what I'm actually focusing on. Um, because fraternities and sororities are the main part of my strategic plan. So Greek membership can help make transitions to college life easier and more enjoyable for students. Fraternity and sorority organizations offer support systems to students through camaraderie and opportunities for involvement. Joining a fraternity or sorority can help greatly broaden a student's social network and sense of community even within Greek life. Penn State Altoona's fraternity and sorority life serves as a student leadership development experience dedicated to the principles of scholarship, service, leadership, and lifelong friendships. As you can see, um, we have the fraternity and sororities mission, which is the fraternities and sororities at Penn State Altoona is dedicated to providing a positive, safe environment for students who choose to enter the Greek community. 
The fraternities and sororities are committed to striving towards excellence, challenging themselves as individuals and the chapters which they affiliate. If we go into what governs all five Greek life or fraternity and sororities, um, their purpose is to set recruitment, philanthropy, academic GPA regulations, and require for Greek life at Penn State Altoona as a whole. It is a board made up of members that represent the two fraternities, two sororities, and the veterans fraternity on campus. So as you can see, the fraternities that we do have are Alpha Phi Delta and Sigma Pi. For the sororities, we have Alpha Sigma Tau and Gamma Phi Beta. For the co-ed fraternity, that is the veterans fraternity, it's Omega Delta Sigma. One of the major things that I looked at um, through different institutions was actually institutions that were closer to the Penn State Altoona that were on the smaller range um, due to there would be more similarities when looking at it. So what I looked at was the undergrad enrollment, how many fraternities and sororities are at the campus, the retention rate, so who stays through the whole entire process of graduating, um, the kind of staffing that they have, and the different councils that they hold within fraternities and sororities. This helped because it helped put into focus um, how we were lacking or what were our strengths going through the strategic planning. One of the first major pro uh, productions that I put on for the strategic plan is trying to come up with a task force. Now this is just a hypothetical, but what I did was I went through the divisions to see what could necessarily work for us and who could give us different opinions and views of how things could be differently. So through this, um, I went through and I selected Danny Fry, who is the Director of Student Civic Engagement. Um, she's also the Director of Fraternity and Sorority Life, which is the acronym FSL, so you might hear me refer to that through the th program. Um, Andrew Kurtz, who's the President of Greek Council, and he's also representing Omen Omega Delta Sigma Fraternity. Um, I thought it was important that as you look through the slides, each fraternity or sorority or co-ed fraternity was represented in the task force because each has a different chapter and a different view and how they run things. So I thought that was important as well. Um, so we also have Michaela Pratt, who's a social chair representing Gamma Phi Beta Sorority. Bill Butterfield, the philanthropy and community service chair representing Alpha Phi Delta Fraternity. Um, Matt Sharp, who's a recruitment chair representing Sigma Pi Fraternity. Then as the directors or staff, um, I selected John Nathan O'Hara, who's the Director of Strategic Communications and Marketing. Um, Deb Stitt, who is actually a lieutenant and one of the university police. Um, she would give good insight on safety and protocol and everything around that. Mark Thies, who's the Director of Development and Alumni Relations. Maria Mosley, who's the Director of Residence Life. Jonathan Carey, who's the coordinator of intramural and recreational sports, and Nick Mohammed, who's a professor um, through communications. And again, I would like to reiterate that the reason why I chose these people is because they will be collecting and analyzing information that's presented them to them through this strategic plan in which they can decipher for themselves and give views that others might not be able to see. So through this process of data collection process and analysis, um, the Strategic Plan Task Force is trying to better understand the objectives and the outcomes that are for showcasing the fraternity and sorority life. Um, through this, they were able to reach their own perspectives, have dialogue about it, and go through every single information or survey or data that was pulled from the campus to find the trends and the best practices for the fraternities and sororities. When they are gathering this data, the first thing that they did was identification need. So understanding 
who's attracted to the fraternity and sorority life, who's supporting them, and what is the cause of all of this. Once that is decided upon, then they go through and they create an analysis for themselves of current successes and challenges that the fraternity and sorority life might have, which is going through the pre preliminary work um, that is pulled together. And the group is consisted of all the directors and the Greek council president. Um, we decided not to include the director of student civic engagement, who's also the advisor, because she might be biased to some of the other things that they decide to channel and go through and ask question about. I thought it was important to include the Greek council president just because he could be there for an ear and give opinions and views when needed. After that, what will happen is we'll be sending out a survey launch. Now this will go out to the fraternity and sororities um, to see how they feel about the Greek life in general and how we can go about it and what they want changed and how can we showcase things differently and do they have any ideas. After that is done, when they compiled all the data and the surveys and going through, they'll find and identify and develop target areas that will help us grow as a fraternity sorority, community service, service in general, and focus on how we can show that Greek life is a good thing, no matter what, that they're working hard and they're putting in the time and effort and they deserve to be realized of how great they're doing. So going through the data and thinking about things within Greek life and how to showcase um, how they're doing their community service and how they're working towards a better outcome and greater success, um, I did my SWOT analysis. So for strengths, it was collaboration and teamwork across organizations, faculty, staff, and departments, networking and professional development, campus presence, leadership, support from faculty and staff, and communications. My weaknesses were the relationship and collaborations with organizations and faculty and staff, just because there is always that some people don't really think that fraternity and sororities are having a good stigma. They are thinking that it's negative. And again, that leads to my next point with the Greek life stigma. You know, we see it on TV, we see it in movies, we hear about it online, all the bad stuff, but the good stuff is never brought up, um, which leads to also staff awareness of campus issues with fraternities and sororities. You know, it's always you hear it by ear and then you make your judgment instead of looking at the true facts. Another thing is through communication. Right now, I don't think there's enough ways that are communicating all the great things that are happening. Through showcasing the greatness, the opportunities that we have are campus-wide events and activities. We're going to beat the stigma. We rebrand the fraternity and sorority life. Um, we address personal issues, so fraternity and sorority morale, leadership improvements, and understaffed areas, meaning even within Greek Council, different positions that are not being filled that we can, or even looking into fulfilling a staff within the Office of Student and Civic Engagement that can monitor the Greek life more than what the Director of Student and Civic Engagement is doing because she's trying to take care of all the other organizations as well. And that's not fair because Greek life is one of the bigger organizations that are is on campus. Um, another thing that is an opportunity is utilizing resources to advertise fraternity and sorority life and to grow and develop fraternity and sorority life. The threats that I have are the ability to adapt, adapt to change needs of fraternity and sorority life um, just because with changing times some people might not be okay with that and that there might be as I say in one of my other threats the members might push back and show activism in various chapters where they're okay with how things are ran. They don't want change. Um, this could also lead to the Chancellor's priority, so she might not think this is something that we really need at this moment. There's greater things to think about. Or even student, faculty, staff, negative views and opinions of fraternity and sorority life. You know, 
um, you can always we always hear things all the negative and you know when you hear the negative sometimes you really don't want to hear everything else that's going on because you made up your decision and that's it so that's a potential threat as well going through and looking at all the other institutions and seeing what they were focusing on um, the top five that I came up with and I think that are major when working with an organization especially with fraternity and sorority life um, are recruitment so demonstrating active and positive engagement by individuals of each chapter in the fraternity and sorority community while giving others an opportunity that will help to become the best one that they can be through fraternity and sorority experiences. Another target area is public relations. So communication is key. You know, we're always hearing things, seeing things. It's just something that we need. So communicating the well-rounded, fulfilling college experiences that is a result of personal and professional growth through fraternity and sorority experiences. After that, I have service and philanthropy. Um, many fraternities, many sororities are based off of, of community service and philanthropy. They want to work for the greater good. Um, so establishing through hands-on service, philanthropic endeavors that help to benefit the local community and campus, every member will learn how their contributions impact the greater good. One of the bigger things is scholarships, so demonstrating through individual and collaborative work to pursue endeavors of academic and career success. One of the main things that I was always told with fraternities and sororities is it's run like a business. You know, they're preparing you for your career and they're teaching you lifelong lessons. So every member will learn um, how these experiences in the classrooms, their chapter, even on campus or through local community um, events that it generates lessons that can be used for a lifetime. And the last thing that I have is community. Community is such a big, big thing because every person you talk to, every moment that you spend with someone, you create an experience. So it's about creating those deep interpersonal connections with others while using connections and networks that develop through common values and interests. You know, you might not always run into someone that you like, but you're going to have a com common interest and you can turn that conversation around through your values and through your interests. So I think that's very big because, you know, you want to be hands on and you want to create that experience and create that positive experience to turn people around and take a second guess and think about it and not be so judgmental about Greek life or, as I said, fraternity and sorority life. So this is just a sketch of what my timeline looked like. It's longer and in detailed. Um, I couldn't fit it on the PowerPoint, but so I went through the immediate. So going through and finding the members of the strategic plus plan task force team compiling and analyzing statistical data, um, using the preliminary work group, doing the survey launch, identifying and developing target areas. Then we went into public relations, service and philanthropy, recruitment, scholarship, and community. And each item is broken up into the year. So if it says year one, it's going to be the first year that we're implementing everything. So that means that after the immediate things are done, then to follow is the year one, then year two, and year three. Through this process, it will be through 2018 to 2020 um, of the fall year. So that will be the completion of it. The required resources that I have for this project are seminars that reflect practices of Greek life missions and goals, um, a personal website, including all bases of social, social, social media, um, the Adobe Creative Suite, a Greek life bulletin board, so we can showcase what's going on, who we're showcasing, and everything that is going on with the fraternity and sorority life. Um, OrgSync, which is a database that all organizations use on the Penn State Altoona campus. Sources for community service, so working with different offices and finding different organizations that we can work with and that we can use and create relationships with. 
and also fundraising for incentives, programming, public relations, and formal recruitment. Um, through the end of this, so it'd be 2020 in spring, um, we'll do an assessment. So for year one, um, we'll utilize the student, staff, and faculty voice. Hear what they're saying, seeing if they see any change, what's going on, what's going on in their head. Um, then through the second year, we'll increase the data tracking. So more surveys, seeing who's becoming more involved with the Greek life. It doesn't mean that they have to join, but are they coming to events? Are they hanging out with Greek life more? Are they wanting to know more while showing their support? And the comments that we make, you know, you can always hear comments that are going on through campus and through recruitment. Who's showing up? Who wants to be more a part of Greek life and join the actual chapter? Through that, then what we'll also do is when fraternities and sororities also have events, we're going to track their report and see the surveys that are sent in with the event to see how it went and what people thought of it as well. So all through this, we'll be able to take the data and see how we can perfect our strategic plan. In conclusion, fraternity and sorority life holds a value and meaning that is a lot deeper than what people see from being on the outside. They are not just stigmas that we hear, read, or watch about on the news or even in movies. Through this plan, the ability to showcase a fraternity and sorority community in a positive light will evolve from the basic standards that are being practiced. By creating a channel of interaction, utilizing resources of communication, and guiding structure, we'll establish a chance of opportunistic outlook that are reflected through the target areas that will advance the purpose and organization as a whole. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it.